Temperature staying cool today thanks to a cold front that moved through this morning and a lot of clouds behind it. We're still at 62 in Wessico and 64 in Port Isabel. High temperatures are only a couple degrees warmer than this today, but not a big drop off in temperatures this evening and tonight. We should be holding mostly in the mid to upper 50s in the overnight hours. So tomorrow we should warm back up. I think the day starts kind of cloudy again, but should begin to see the sun break through the clouds more by afternoon. So up in the 70s in most areas, including 76 in Rio Grande City, 75 in Wesleyco, and about 77 in Brownsville and Los Fresno. So temperatures warm, warmer, I guess, than today, but set for a cool down, big cool down on Friday. So your day planner tomorrow, clouds in the morning, maybe still cloudy at lunchtime, but could see some holes in the clouds. I think in the afternoon, not crystal clear blue sky, but kind of some broken cloudiness, enough to get Temperatures back up into the 70s, it looks like, over most of the valley. And then future track, you'll see, does show some big changes on Friday. Future track tonight shows a lot of clouds around by 1 a.m., still cloudy. By morning, still cloudy and kind of cool. And then during the day, more clouds up through about lunchtime. But the winds will be light from the north and northeast in the morning, but should shift to the southeast in the afternoon. And that should eat away the cloud cover late in the day. So, you know, it may be a situation, though, where it stays cloudy up until maybe 2 or 3 in the afternoon. So... Uh, don't get too excited to see the sun break through very early. It looks like by tomorrow night, the cold front's coming in after midnight. This shows about 2 a.m. Could, could see a couple showers along the front, maybe some sprinkles. More importantly, though, gusty winds and colder temperatures. It looks like by the time you wake up on Friday morning for work or school, temperatures could be falling through the 50s, maybe even into the 40s. And then a cold, wintry day on Friday where temperatures will hold in the 40s during the day. Lots of clouds, a little bit of drizzle or sprinkles, and temperatures. Uh, you know, feeling even colder with the wind chill, it will make it feel more like it's in the 30s much of the day. By Friday night, a lot of clouds around. Temperatures should eventually bottom out into the upper 30s in some areas on Saturday morning. So uh, we should stay above freezing, but we'll have to watch just in case in some areas if the clouds clear out uh, Saturday morning and then again on Sunday morning for near freezing temperatures. But a chilly day on Saturday, you notice though the clouds are breaking up. It looks like we should see at least some sun on Saturday, but even with the sun, temperatures not warming up. Here's a close look at future track temperatures tonight and tomorrow morning. It starts off in the 50s and 60s in the morning, 70s by afternoon, and then tomorrow evening stays warm. But then watch how temperatures plummet on Friday. Shows maybe still some 50s in the morning at 8 a.m., but then quickly falling to the 40s the rest of the day, all afternoon long. And then Friday night, we fall through the 40s, and you see by early Saturday morning, some places in the upper 30s. So cold air is on the way in your first 157 day forecast. Tomorrow is a fairly warm day. Clouds may be slow to break up in the afternoon, but highs mostly in the 70s and then only in the 40s most of Friday during the daytime with gusty winds, especially at the coast. Some sprinkles or a light rain shower and lots of clouds. Saturday we should clear out some, but only get back into the low to mid 50s. Sunday wouldn't be much warmer either. I think we'll see the clouds hang around most of the day with highs in the 50s. But Sunday morning again in the 30s could be kind of chilly, but then we rapidly warm up to near 80 again by next Tuesday and Wednesday. So get ready for our three days of winter weather coming and your first 1-5 forecast coming up.